Hey. I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. I believe I should say, Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Lewis, playing a bit of Assassin's Creed 4 for you today. Which Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. We should be thrown back into the game and be following this absolutely beautiful girl. Uh, so we're going to this waypoint for an elevator. We go. What's over here first? Sorry. What? You know what? I wanted. To, I tried scanning this code. Believe it on a minute ago. Uh, when, when I say tried scanning the code, I literally I tried scanning the code on my phone, uh, and uh, it was quite interesting. Nothing happened. Um, but yeah, I'm just here because I wanted to have a look and know what that was. But nonetheless, apparently that's nothing. Anyway. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Into the left again. And then all we need to do is press... You're not coming with? I'm, t I'm so going to get lost. Apparently she isn't right. Where are we? There you go. B. Wait, where are we going? B. We're going to the lob... No, we're going to... There. Flight 15. I knew we were under the sea. Hi. Testing, testing. Is this thing working? <coughs> this is John from IT. We met earlier. I was calibrating your animus. I'm sort of the, uh, Scotty of this Abstergo Enterprise. In charge of all the techie stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh, oh. Ah, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Well, this is kind of worrying. Quite nervous, actually. Oh, hello. This looks quite nice. Bonjour. Uh, Go right in. He's waiting for you. Hmm. Who is this? The leader of Stergo? Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find, and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. That city is absolutely amazing. It, honestly, no word of a lie. It is incredible. And obviously there's no way onto the lift. Okay, great. So where am I off to now? Am I going back? Oh, yes, Certainly am. Uh, see you in a bit. If I could push over the edge, I would. Not that I don't like him, but, you know, Desmond and all. <laughs> I'm joking. There's, there's a load of these things around here. Oh, what does that do? Oh, they're sticky notes. 
Oh. Okay, so if I take them from every time I see them... That's interesting. I might have to do that. Okay. I'm going to find all the sticky notes. I now know what they are. And me trying to scan them last time was absolutely Hi, stupid. Again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So... Uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you too. Hmm, something sounds fishy to me. <laughs> Literally fishy. Haha, <laughs> funny. Right, okay. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm finding all the sticky notes now, I know what I'm doing. I, I say that, but um, as our tools and jetting. Okay, you know what? I'm probably have to gonna read through them in uh, normal normal stuff. Right, so where are we going? I don't actually know where I. Oh, this way. Okay, no, no, it's fine. So, can I. Fa I can fast pace. Which means I'm in a rush. Isn't there another sticky note on my desk? Where, where is my desk first? I'm lost. Aha, here it is. And it's here. And what sticky note is that? Is that number one? Number two? Being the life... Uh, okay, cool. I'll read that later. <laughs> I want to find number one. If I can find number one, then I think life is okay. Sorry, I'm going to be distracted. I really want to know what all the sticky notes are now. Right, where are we going? Again, I'm lost. Okay. Uh, so it's got to be... It's not in here. Which means it is technically... Oh. Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now you do too. Don't abuse it. it is it level one the the Log on and worst? I'll walk you through this. Okay, I will. I'm just looking for another sticky note because we love sticky notes apparently these days. If anyone sees one, let me know because I want to take these. Are beautiful. Look at that. Anyway, right on we go. You need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. Right, because that makes perfect sense. Thank you so much for letting me know. Right, what are we doing? Moving data. Maybe I didn't do it. Oh, maybe not. You cracked it. Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My Files section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway, and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Something's not right. I mean, it's nice to hear Desmond's story again, but something's definitely not right. Okay. Desmond chose to do what he done to save the world, if I'm correct. 
I don't want to December watch it again, to be honest, but I'm okay, thank you. But interesting. Okay. That's very, very... Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend it never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. <laughs> I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. You know what? I'm doing that now. Sorry, it said one of one of so many computers hacked, so obviously that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, right, where are we going? I'm going to go left, then we're going to go... Oh, no, we're going down again. Right, down. And we've hacked it. Easy! That's simple! Right, who, what's in here? Correct ground extraction sequence. Because I want to know now, right? If it's giving me a Desmond's thing, then it might give me someone else's. Hey, Dad. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's funny. I, I have this memory of you uh, when I keep coming back to. And I, I always think about it when I'm working or just before going to bed. Uh, because it um, sort of calms me, I guess. Um, I was 14, I think, and, um, and and you were trying to teach me how to, to walk with a light step. Remember that? How to be mindful of how much noise I made when I moved around. Simple stuff. Stuff I understand now, but back then, I uh, gotta tell you, I thought you were just being <laughs> an asshole. Uh, so, uh, you told me you were gonna go up to your room and sit with your back to the door and read a book. You wanted me to wait at least 15 minutes and then sneak up there and tap you on the shoulder without you knowing. I, I even remember the book you were reading at the time, the one by uh, Captain Johnson. And you warned me that if you caught me, we'd have to start all over. Then you went upstairs. And I waited. I waited and I waited and I waited. I waited four hours before deciding to go up. And even then, it took me 20 minutes to get to the foot of the stairs. And uh, another 30 to get up them. And then 10 to get down the hall. And there I was at the door and peeked into your room. And I was, I was so hoping that you'd be asleep. But no. No, you, you were still reading. And I just about shit myself. But 10 minutes later... I was just five feet away from you. And that's when I remember setting my foot down and you flinched. Ever so slightly, you... you flinched. I thought maybe I'd imagined it, but I knew you'd hurt me. You, you didn't say anything. You just checked your watch, you reached for your drink, you took a sip, and then you kept reading. But I knew I'd failed. You didn't say anything. I, I, I didn't understand why. Then I lunged and tapped you on the shoulder, and you turned around and, oh, fantastic, you said, and you scooped me up and you gave me a big hug, and I didn't say anything. But Dad, Dad, I was so pissed off. I wanted to scream at you. I, I'd failed, and you knew it, but you said nothing. I stayed mad for weeks. I thought you were you, you were patronizing me. But maybe you decided right there that I was never going to be the man you wanted me to be. But I realized just a few years ago that you checking your watch, that was the clue, wasn't it? You let me win because I had been... So patient. And I guess that impressed you. You know, maybe at that moment you thought it might be better to be my dad instead of my mentor. I, I don't really know. Maybe for you, they're, they're one and the same. You know, either way, I'm happy to know that both my mentor and my dad are looking out for me that day. I didn't understand that then. I think I do now. So, 
despite me not talking for like three or four minutes, this is kind of piecing together, and I and I think I I, I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to go and look for all of these on an occasion and upload them randomly, or whenever I'm back, I'm going to find them and upload them because. That's very interesting, and I really, really enjoyed that. And it gave me goosebumps. And it gave me goosebumps, and I hope it did to you guys as well. Um, but unfortunately, because that was so long, I'm going to have to end the video. I am I am sorry. I will definitely make my way back and hack some more computers later on. But let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see me hack some more computers, because I don't mind doing it. Honestly, I would love to more than anything. And, well, enjoy, guys. I hope you have a lovely day. Remember to like favorite down below. Some kind of diva. Go see the courier. Shut up. Hope you have enjoyed the video, and I will catch you tomorrow for some more awesome episodes. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye.